hello, all you beautiful people. Hope you're having a wonderful, absolutely wonderful day. Don't forget tonight at 6 p.m. I am having a special guest on that has not been interviewed by anybody else that does have firsthand knowledge of the Wells, the Wells family um, that has been at the house, that has helped work on the house, that has helped clean on the house, and who has had personal talks with each and every one of them up there, except for Summer herself. Um, I hope you all join me this evening. It is bound to be interesting, that's for sure. And I will remind everybody, no bashing of no one. No one. Okay, getting on with this one. Um, oh, first, subscribe, like, comment. Tell me all the thoughts you have. Tell me all the thoughts that you have. Tell me all the thoughts that you have. Anyways, I told you all that I wanted to get a hold of Tim Mullins. Um, I did the best I could. I finally found an email for him. I emailed him, and this is what I emailed him. It says, Mr. Mullins, I would love to have a chance to speak with you, if at all possible. I do not work on Tuesday. If you will contact me through email, I can give you my phone number. Thank you so much. Not as angels. And his response was, hello, Nana, you may email your questions here and I will take a look. Thank you, Tim. And then when I emailed the questions to him, I tagged this on the end of it. It says, as you can see, I'm not accusing or attacking. I simply am asking general questions. People are wondering. I have a few more but so that you can understand where I'm coming from, I thought I would start with just a few. Thank you for your time. And no, I didn't read off the questions because they come next. Right here they are. That was just a little tag note that I put on there. It says, now first, first off, can we start with the rumor that you may be Don Wells' stepbrother? Tim says, not related in any Form, except we both love God. Of course, we've never done a DNA test at Ancestry.com, so who knows? Tim, I'm sorry to tell you, DNA ain't going to tell you if you're a stepbrother or not. I know you're a smart man, so I shouldn't have to tell you that, but anyways, it says, I asked, did Don sign over the property to you until his release date? He said, you mean his land, house? No. Question number three, if you are the manager or the media manager, why have you never done a news interview about the case? He says, that's not what media managers do. Spokespersons might, though I may be forced into it at some point about the, about the onslaught they have experienced, as well as what other families have experienced with missing children, but I refuse to talk about the case or the privacy of the family. It is their American right to be protected. Then I said, and who pays your salary? Is it the Wells or pro bono? He says, no money is involved or will be. Question number five, can you name any other clients you have helped or had in the past? He says, that's not how it works. I have worked with all aspects of media my whole life. I know the industry. I did not want to deal with the YouTubians, though. They distracted in improper ways. I had to focus on the professionals and still do. And no, I am not writing a book or making a movie, but the YouTubians need to respect law enforcement and the TBI's settlement. Statement, sorry, statement. And many need to take how to be a decent human classes. Wow, strong statement there. They have no grasp of what the damage they have done to other citizens. There are some strong forces studying the social media folks, though. Stay in those TBI parameters and you'll be fine, Nana. But YouTube money is the name of the game so look in the mirror every day always consider the effect 
on all humans as well as the whale's children when they read or watch what you share. One person was pushed into a seizure. Then there is Jose who died. And yes, they were pushing the whales to the diving board of self-destruction. Thank God there were a few people helping them not throw in the towel. And some creators continued to be relentless as they plot their next attack in the near future. Next question is a two-part question. And it says, did you name did you name the official channel and page for the Wells? And if so, why call it Don Wells family instead of just the Wells family? His answer was, because he is the head of the family and I work directly with Don. I said, okay, why does Candace say she doesn't want any involvement, you to be involved in the case or the family any longer? His response was, I do not talk about another man's wife, especially when he is in jail. That goes for YouTube creators also. If they are married, that is improper. I will always stand up for Candace and no, I'm not hiding any secret info concerning the case and thus covering for the wells. Tim Mullins. And this was my answer to him. Because as I said, I had more questions. I said, thank you for taking time out of your day to answer these questions as the YouTubers, as for YouTubers, how they have handled the case. As they say, it takes all kinds. As for me, I'm sure I have said a few things people take offense to. But for the most part, I really try not to bash anyone for anything that I have not seen with my own eyes. As for others, there are only a few I will even watch anymore because of all the bull BS that is being created by others just for the views. Do not get me wrong. I am monetized, but I won't sell my soul for money. If it is wrong, it is wrong. And what I think is wrong may not be the same to you. But that is a private combo between me and God, no one else. I hope I did not offend you and would hope I might be able to ask a few more questions at a later date. It is late and I have to be at work at 6 a.m. Thank you again for your time. And his response to that was, you did not offend me, Myra. Hope your day has gone very well, Tim. And then, of course, there is the thing that he sent. He sent a audio clip of the questions and answers. And it says, this is what he said. Many times people read statements using a loud voice in their head, for example, that distorts the context of the words. So I have attached an audio for you with a generated voice that ex expresses these answers properly, Tim. And I, I just include it so that you guys can hear what he's talking about because I just thought that was a little bit odd because he did type out the actual, you know, answers to the, the uh, questions I had. And as far as what his role is as a media manager, he says that he is not, that that's, I can't exactly how, I can't remember how it is worded or how he worded it, but I do have an answer to that. And he says that, that that's not how it works, that part of it. He says that's not how it works. Um, I can't remember where it's at. But anyways, tomorrow I will do a short video and we're going to see what a media manager really does and what his job duties are. And we're going to find out if Tim fulfills that job, the job requirements. I mean, I've read over them. I've discussed it with a friend of mine and I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. And I would also like to have more information on the fact that he's telling me to stay within the TBI parameters. First of all, how does he know what a TBI parameter is? And second of all, you know, 
not like I'm going against the law to do anything. Um, and another question I have is, how does Tim Mullins know how bad the YouTubers have messed up this case? I mean, uh, truly, law, in, law enforcement, you know, official law enforcement should be the only ones that know anything about this case, how well it's going or how messed up it is, officially anyways. Um, so how does Tim know? You know, we've, I've heard it discussed before. Could he be undercover? Let's talk about that tomorrow, guys. Don't forget, this evening, join us with my special guest to hear what they have to say. Pray for the case. Pray for Summer. Pray for all the lost children. Love your family. Tell your family and your friends how much they mean to you. Tomorrow was never promised, guys. And you never know what may happen. Until tomorrow, or until tonight, actually, I bid you farewell. Questions. Hello, thank you for answering my email. First of can we start with the rumor you may be Don Wells' stepbrother. Not related in any form except we both love God. Of course we've never done a DNA test at Ancestry.com, so who knows. Did Don sign over the property to you until his release date? You mean his land, house? No. If you are the media MGR, why have you never done a news interview about the case? That's not what media managers do. Spokespersons might. Though I may be forced into it at some point about the onslaught they have experienced. As well as what other families have experienced with missing children. But I refuse to talk about the case or the privacy of the family. It is their American right to be protected. And who pays your salary is it the Wells are pro bono? No money is involved or will be. Can you name other clients you have had in the past? That's not how it works. I have worked with all aspects of media my whole life. I know the industries. I did not want to deal with the YouTubians though. They distracted in improper ways. I had to focus on the professionals, and still do. And no, I'm not writing a book or making a movie. But the YouTubians need to respect law enforcement and the TBI's statement. And many need to take, how to be a decent human, classes. They have no grasp of the damage they have done to other citizens. There are some strong forces studying the social media folks though. Stay in those TBI perimeters and you'll do fine Myra. But YouTube money is the name of the game. So look in the mirror every day. Always consider the affect on all humans as well as the Wells children when they read or watch what you share. One person was pushed into a seizure. Then there is Jose who died. And yes, they were pushing the Wells to the diving board of self-destruction. Thank God there were a few people helping them not throw in the towel. And some creators continue to be relentless as they plot their next attacks in the near future. Two-part question. Did you name the official channel and page for the Wells and if so why call it the Don Wells family instead of just the Wells family? Because he is the head of the family and I work directly with Don. Why does Candace say she doesn't want you involved in the case and the family any longer? I do not talk about another man's wife especially when he is in jail. That goes for YouTube creators also if they are married. That is improper. I will always stand up for Candace. And no, I'm not hiding any secret info concerning the case and thus covering for the Wells. Tim.